The conversation to solutions. That's what a local pastor called last night's discussion between faith leaders, Roanoke's mayor and police chief, and a local protest organizer. 10 News anchor Lindsay Ward shows us how all of the parties sat down for a candid conversation, opening up about past hurt and future healing. We're not, we're not looking at ranting tonight. Uh, we've done enough of that. It took Pastor Cecil Scott less than 48 hours to get these Roanoke leaders to agree to sit on a stage and talk. Uh, calling each other names or calling. Tuesday evening, Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee, Roanoke Police Chief Sam Roman, protest organizer Jordan Bell, Elevation Church Pastor David Shear, and community mentor Jamar Fuel sat side by side with Pastor Scott to discuss looking back and moving forward. Many times uh, leaders with influence, they get accused because people don't see them more vocal. Uh, so it was laid upon my heart to bring them to one collaborative room and setting. They certainly all vocalized their perspectives of the George Floyd video. Everyone agreeing it was murder. Perhaps the most poignant opinion coming from the city's top cop. My, my thought process obviously on uh, what has happened in Minnesota is simple. It's wrong. It's murder. That's how I feel about it, both from a professional and a personal opinion. Establishing a level playing field, each one sounds off on their experiences. I've had um, bad interactions with um, police officers, you know, just driving my car sometimes. Um, so I think the same, the same thing that's going on around the country, around the state, um, you know, when it comes to how black males are viewed, is also going on here right in Ronald. After hearing that, the chief makes a promise. So I apologize that you have had that experience and I make a commitment to you that as long as I'm chief, I will do everything I possibly can to work with you and work with everyone up here to ensure that the culture of the police department does not precipitate that feeling that you had when you got stopped. Today, some of those on stage say healing can begin. I thought some barriers were broken. But it wasn't under Roman's tenure that some of these things that even Mr. Bell has experienced. But it took someone like Chief Roman to say, I represent that now. Conversation one ended. Now, many more will begin. And that was 10 News anchor Lindsay Ward. This conversation lasted more than an hour, and this is just a snippet of what was discussed. If you'd like to hear the whole thing, we have it posted to our website, WSLS.com.